welcome to Bohol. Bohol is famous for its chocolate hills, a unique geological formation of over 1,200 symmetrical hills that turn brown during the dry season, resembling chocolate kisses. This province is also home to the world's smallest primate, the Philippine Tarsier, known for its large eyes and unique behavior. We are on our way to the Tarsier Sanctuary. We had about a 45 minute drive and we are almost there. For the last couple days, it has been pure rain. So we kind of said screw it and we're just gonna go explore. Today on our list is the Bohol Chocolate Hills and the Tarsier Sanctuary. Those are the two main things that we came to Bohol for and I am so excited for them. just heading out now but we have to be really quiet so I'm gonna try not to talk as much and we're gonna try and spot some Tarsiers. crazy good hunters and they're also carnivores so they only eat meat they've been said to they can catch birds and stuff out of the air birds and bats and uh they hunt a lot of insects for easy food but they can jump up to 20 feet which is crazy Tarsiers have the largest eyes relative to body size of any mammal. Their eyes are fixed in their sockets and they can rotate their heads nearly 180 degrees both ways. Tarsiers are some of the oldest primates on the planet, dating back to at least 55 million years ago, with fossil records showing them once spread worldwide, including North America and Europe. All Tarsier species are vulnerable to extinction due to rapidly shrinking habitats. Oil palm, coconut, and coffee plantations have replaced the dense vegetation that Tarsiers need to maintain their numbers successfully. So these little guys are only four to six inches big. The tails are four inches long, so pretty much the same length as the body. And they use the tail to counterbalance their body when they're jumping in the air and they land on little trees and stuff. The, the tail keeps them balanced, which is pretty cool. These are so hard to spot. You can see it at the very, very top. I said his tail was only four to six inches long, but it looks like it's more than 10 to 12 inches long. Like double the length of his body, so that's crazy. It's sound asleep. You have to be very quiet in here or else you'll wake him up and scare them. It's also really annoying because there's so many people in our group and we're the very last ones, so our group's gone and we're just getting to see the Tarsier now. It's all right though, because we can spend as much time with them as we want. <laughs> Girl, yes. Oh, you're a boy. Just kidding. Okay, so we just finished the Tarsier Sanctuary. Honestly, it was maximum 10 minutes walking around. So it was really cool to see the Tarsiers, but it's totally worth it to come and support the sanctuary and see the Tarsiers. But the sun came out and we are just gonna hop back on the bike and head to Chocolate Hills. Hi, come here. Look at your puppy. 
don't know if you can see this tiny little puppy, but that is probably the smallest puppy we've seen so far. Look at how beautiful and lush green this is. It is one hour from the Tarzir Sanctuary to the Bohol Chocolate Hills. So hopefully the sun stays out and it's gonna be a beautiful ride. This ride has been so beautiful so far. How can you complain about the background and the sun? We have been just driving through small town after small town. It's so fun to see what the local life here is. We are about 33 minutes away from the Chocolate Hills and I really hope the sun stays out so that we can see the hills in all of its glory. parking area to buy the ticket before we can head up actually do we have to walk up oh yeah we do you know what i heard that i think we have to park here and then we make our way up by walking okay. ah okay thank you good for two good for two thank you all right, so it was 100 pesos each to get in, and I think you have to pay 50 pesos for the shuttle, but we're just gonna walk because it doesn't seem that far. There's also a ton of shops as you're walking from the parking spot to the entrance of the Chocolate Hills, so we honestly might, well, I might grab a coffee. It says best coffee in town, so I guess we're gonna put that sign to the test. Got a bunch of dresses and clothes here, souvenir shop. I don't know which one this red velvet looks really good and the blueberry I don't know which one I'm gonna get or that I don't know one red velvet macchiato with pearls yeah thank you this red velvet is delicious Really? It's really good though. All right, so we are just about to start walking up. I don't know how far of a walk this is, but when I did read it online, it said it was only about a 500 meter. I don't even know if it's that much, so I guess we'll see. I don't know if you can tell, but this is completely straight uphill. I'll show you, the shuttle might have been worth it. Yeah, if you don't feel like exercising, definitely get the shuttle, but we've been sitting for the last two hours. I figured we could uh, stretch the legs and get some exercise. We're getting our very first sights of the Chocolate Hills. I'm not sure if you are gonna be able to see it, but there is a zip line going between here. And there is an adventure park that we were actually going to go to, but we figured it was a little out of our price range. But there's some really cool activities you can do there, including zip lining, bungee jumping. There's also a zip line that you ride a bicycle across, which is the thing that I wanted to do the most, but what can you do? We still get to see the beautiful chocolate hills and it's sunny out, so I'm a happy girl. So that is where you climb the stairs up to the viewpoint, but I'm not sure if we have to show something first. Yeah. 
There's a ton of shops in here that you can buy souvenirs. Surrounded by the beautiful chocolate hills. just walked around the lower part of it and we are enjoying a view of the chocolate hills with no one around all there is is just little shops behind us in a couple minutes though we are gonna head up to the main viewpoint when we first passed it it was absolutely so busy it's probably the time that we came because it is around lunch times all right we are just gonna start heading up to the viewpoint honestly it doesn't look like there's that many people up there but we'll see out today how you doing Kurt not good, not good? <laughs> how was the stairs tough when it's 45 degrees out yeah like I can't tell what is the chocolate hills and what's just regular mountains like all of these are the chocolate hills but then you see over here it's just all mountains there's a few chocolate hills mixed in but according to a local legend the hills were formed from the rocks being thrown by two giants engaging in a fight although they are actually made of limestone and were formed ages ago through the uplift of coral deposits and the action of rainwater erosion This is definitely the picture spot down here. I honestly expected it to be a lot busier up at the viewpoint, but really we're on the lower viewpoint and there's only like three of us here. It's definitely the best spot. Yeah, this is definitely the best view of the Chocolate Hills, but literally you just look out and it is pure mountains. You can rent ATVs and drive them all throughout this course. It's actually a pretty big ATV course. It goes all the way along here, back up there, and then down to where that other sign is. And there's also a little tuck shop up here, so you can buy some snacks and drinks if you want to. The chocolate hills are really cool. <clears throat> they're like spread out everywhere. It's not like they're from like a certain distance apart. They're just kind of randomly all over the place. We aren't here in dry season, so they aren't brown like the chocolate kisses. They are completely covered in greenery, so we didn't get to see the chocolate hills, but we got to see the green chocolate hills. These stairs are so tiny. I feel like each one should be like three steps. So small. Alright, so we just came down from the viewpoint and we're gonna head into the dining area. Kurt really needs to find a charger to charge his phone or we have no idea how we're getting home. Thank you. Thank you. We get one calamansi juice. One calamansi. And one bottle of water, 500. One bottle of water, 500. That's good. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, we're just heading back down the hill. We finished our calamansi juice and water, which came to 150 for the both of them. If you are anywhere in Bohol, I would recommend renting a bike if you're able to instead of taking a car here. All right, we are back to the bike and I'm full of bags to carry. Oh, garbage. This is the bike that we rented for 450 for 24 hours. Ready? Zoom, zoom. Ready, Kurt? You can see the viewpoint right behind here. There's a lot of empty, it looks like pools. I don't know if there was resorts around here before maybe COVID stopped them or they just never opened, but. It's a little bit later in the day and I hope we don't get stuck in any rush hour traffic when we are heading home because it's going to be chaos especially because we do not have a map. Chocolate Hills is absolutely beautiful. If you are ever in Bohol, you probably are already coming for the Chocolate Hills or the Tarziers. You are not gonna be disappointed with the drive there, especially if you are driving your own bike because it is beautiful and you get to fully immerse yourself in where you are by just being in the open road on your own bike. Kurt is doing a great job at driving. I've only been scared for my life a couple times. Yeah, but sitting on this bike for, it's been probably four hours today. It's bringing us back to the Hajang Loop with a sore tush. We're going to continue driving right now and I'll probably see you when we head back to town. We did end up hitting a lot of traffic though, but Kurt did <laughs> so great. Oh my God, I'm gonna have a panic attack. <laughs> so we're back in the hotel room. I had to shower right away because my face was covered in dirt from just being on the bike all day. But I am so happy that we ended up seeing the Tarziers and the Chocolate Hills. And I just want to thank you guys for coming along with me. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we did. Thanks for coming along and we'll see you in the next one.